<clears throat> the turtle hanging out. One fish. Turtle and fish. I am behind schedule. Uh, let's see, by how many months? Four. I'm behind schedule by four months. I was supposed to finish the first draft in March. <laughs> According to my previous outline. I might have even shown the outline like in a video earlier this year. But man, this year has been wild and crazy. Wild and crazy. Um, it's already July. And so, because I'm so behind, I actually had to like tweak my deadlines and my dates and I removed the pre-order for my second book because I didn't want to uh, try to like rush to make that date and compromise the quality of the book. So I removed the pre-order and I set some new dates and now I have until let me open my Notion, which by the way, I use this Notion template to track my writing in my book. I have it available on my Etsy. I think it's like five bucks if you want to download it and it would support me a little bit. And if you're ever interested in writing a book and how to like do all the steps and like make an outline, etc., I made all that for you. It's in the Notion. It's so lovely. So according to my Notion, I'm in progress for the first draft. August 10th is my deadline, which is 29 days. So I think according to that, I have to do two chapters a week because I think I have 10 chapters left. A summer hack, get yourself some like Tazo passion tea, tea bags, get a big pitcher, put some water, put those tea bags in there. And then you just have passion tea on the ready in your fridge cold refrigerated passion tea and it's such a sweet little treat i don't put any sugar in here it's just sweet by itself i feel like i need to get in the head place head space for it and i don't know if i want to do it right now i've been enjoying writing in the morning and tragically i just found out my favorite coffee shop that i like to go right in is closing at the end of the month so really i should take advantage of that and like go there when i can i might be able to go tomorrow morning after the gym so some things that have been helping me is resetting my book roadmap getting these dates in here and like really thinking about what i need to do getting my outline sorted those are all kind of helping me making some fresh pinterest boards those are also a super helpful thing for any kind of rut i feel like it's just making a pinterest board i've recently been doing it for painting and like pinning references that i want um, I also used it recently to think of ideas for social media and it really helped because I posted a really cute pic that did really well. So I feel like Pinterest is a great tool to get you out of a rut. I also have been enjoying doing my morning pages. I'm not going to blab on about the artist's way yet again. I talked about it in my other video, but I fell off the wagon doing my morning pages and Getting back on it, I feel like just helps the flow of like writing and stream of consciousness and like makes you not think so deeply about writing. Just get the words down on paper. Something totally not writing related, but kind of art related is I started making these polymer clay. I, ignore the brown blob right there. Like this thing, don't even look at that. But you can look at the flower and the strawberry. I went to Michael's one day on like an artist day moment to get more gouache paint. I realized that they don't have any single tubes there, at least at the one I go to. And I was so sad. It was a bad day that day. I was really hungry. It was really hot. And I ended up just like wandering the aisles and I found this like polymer clay pack. And I just got it. And I've just been playing with clay and it's been really fun. I'll sit here, play with clay, watch uh, My Lady Jane. That's my current TV watch obsession. I'm having a good time. I'm trying to be gentle with myself, you know? Last night I went to a book signing for Krista and Becker Ritchie's book, Dishonestly Yours. I got all this like cute swag, this little patch, this bookmarked. There's the name. The book is over here. I'll grab it. 
this is their book and they signed it in there how cute and I brought my book my friend Kate encouraged me to and I wasn't sure at first but then somebody asked them a question about like self-publishing and I feel like the vibes were good so I totally was intending just to like give them the book and be like here's my book that I wrote enjoy just a gift um but then they ended up like loving that I was kind of inspired by them and their self-publishing journey and then I have like a little easter egg in already falling about the addicted series which by the way if you don't know Kristen Becker Ritchie wrote the addicted series which is they took a video of me and I swear I'm probably just like jibber jabbering and they took a picture with me and I don't know if they're gonna post it on social media or not but yeah wild times but it was a lot of fun I would hopefully go to more book signings and book events I think it was a good experience for sure Hello, just a little update. I'm in a new location. I'm in a hotel room. I'm actually in New York City. I'm here for work. I work in fashion, so there's like fabric shows. I need to put this phone down somewhere. Fabric shows going on and I work in development in fashion. So I go to these shows to like find fabrics for the product and whatnot. Um, so that's why I'm here. Um, but I'm kind of using this also as a time to have like a prolonged artist date with myself. Um, so I went to sushi dinner by myself. I got some gelato. I did a little shopping. Uh, my feet are killing me because it's fucking hot. And I need to find some casual white sneakers that aren't like athletic shoes. Do you guys have any recs? Please give me recs of like casual white sneakers that you can like dress over down. It doesn't have to be white, but like a casual sneaker that's comfortable, that's key, that you can like dress up or down. Um, I went to, this is one of my favorite stores to stop into in New York, Muir Grand. I think they also have one in Boston and probably like LA maybe. Um, they have a lot of really cute stuff there and I got this ring, the middle one. I think it's just like so chunky and fun. I love it. I love the colors in it. So I, does anybody else just like make a complete mess when they get into their hotel room? Like I just like dump everything on the bed. This hotel room is so small. <laughs> it's like, there's the door, the bed, TV, bathroom area and that's it i'll show you guys the view okay here's the view from my hotel room
Hi! Wow, long time since I've talked to a camera. Uh, I honestly don't know how many clips I have for July. So I thought while I was just like doing my makeup this morning, I would do a little like life update. Get ready with me. Fill you guys in on what's going on and why I haven't been posting, etc. etc. I got a paper cut this morning. Super sweet. I literally put on these press on nails and yesterday and I got a paper cut this morning and I had a rip this nail off. Although I just used those like sticky tabs so they came off pretty easily. Hi guys, how are you? What's going on? Oh man, it's been so long since I've just like talked and uploaded and I check my YouTube studio as if like I recently uploaded a video and I did not. So like obviously there's no new comments. I am doing well. Uh, it's kind of been wild and crazy, not gonna lie, over here. Um, my fiance and I are like doing a lot at the moment. So we decided not to renew our lease in this house that we're in currently because we want to get a dog. It's something we want to do in our relationship and this lease is no pets. So we thought about we could find a new place to lease but like ultimately one of our goals is to like own a house together so we just decided to go for it and try to buy a house and it's honestly been crazy um we've been like looking non-stop since the beginning of june so that's kind of like the reason why I haven't been posting a lot of content on here on Instagram is because literally any of our spare time we're like out and about house hunting it's very like all-consuming and very stressful <laughs> very expensive um, but both of us have like saved up a little chunk that we combined for like our down payment which is really helpful to like have somebody in your life to like go upon this journey like if I was by myself um, there's still like resources you can do if you are by yourself and you don't have as much money as for a deposit But you still want to like buy a house. There's ways you can buy houses Like I learned that like there's a lot people want you to spend money and buy houses So like they'll figure out ways to help you do it So that's kind of cool. Um, but yeah, we've just been like looking non-stop and looking at different areas We like almost bought a house at the end of June um, and it ended up going th through or falling through I mean because we got an inspection and there was just like way more things than the sellers disclosed that needed to be repaired and it just like was not worth it like this is our first home I probably it's gonna be like a starter home we're gonna live there for like maybe five to ten years and we're just like we don't we wouldn't get the return of value by doing all these repairs and living there for a short time. So sadly, we had to turn away from that house. So we are still on the hunt and I'm hoping we find something soon because if not, we have to find like a short-term rental to move into um, while we continue to look for houses. Um, so that's kind of like our my general life update of like what's going on right now. I also realized the shampoo I was using I think was causing me to have breakouts because I would wash my hair and it wouldn't dry completely and I would like go to sleep. My face would like lay on my pillow and it would give me breakouts because I just changed my shampoo and I changed my pillowcase and my like breakouts have subsided and started going away. So that's fun. But at least I figured it it out what was going on what else what else was oh we're also getting married <laughs> so we we wanted to get married like towards the second half of this year so we just went and designed our wedding bands um a couple weeks ago so whenever those are ready i just want to go and do it we're just eloping um and we live in pennsylvania and pennsylvania has this uh special law where you don't need an efficient to marry you so like if you elope sometimes you still have to get like an officiant or go to like a chapel like a wedding chapel whatever but in pennsylvania they have this thing called quaker marriage where you don't need an officiant you can just have you and your partner get married and then two witnesses sign it and that's it 
so we're honestly probably gonna do that um but I'll also I'm just like can you just like do it at the courthouse like why do I have to leave come back like come on <laughs> we're we're like not interested in having a ceremony like at all I was using Glossier highlighter mm -hmm. what I was using Glossier concealer in light four that's my shade and I just use it to spot conceal and I use it with my fingers mostly honestly but since I have these stick on nails I've been using this real techniques brush this is the setting brush I think this comes in like a pack of brushes and then I've been using this combo for face these two pixie sticks and then this glossier highlighter so this is the on the glow bronze in warm glow and I put this here on my cheekbones and I also like put it on my like the middle part of my nose I'm gonna put a little bit on my forehead then I take the blush and this is in cheek tone and I just put a little bit there a little there a little on the nose and then I put Glossier Halo Scope in quartz on the tops of my cheekbones my brow bone the top there maybe some there maybe some there I think I might put a little more bronzer let's see I might do I really am liking this cloud paint by Glossier in swept I really I used to use the solar paint which I do like the applicator but this color is so good for just like a soft contour and then I just blend it all in my fingers so we're getting married this month I kind of want to wait till our wedding rings are done but my fiance was also saying like we could just get some like inexpensive rings to just wear in the meantime until the wedding bands are done so there's that too so buy a house we're getting married we want to go on a trip we want to go on a honeymoon so we're also wondering like where we should factor that in like we're also buying a house but i mean like we've budgeted um all these things but I don't know, it's all up in the air. I want to get the house settled and like good first before we plan any trips um, anywhere. So that's kind of the gist of what's going on. Uh, I have like probably 10 or 20,000 words left to write. I have just been like lacking the motivation. I went away for work for like two days up to New York and that screwed me up because I was like writing I was doing so well I, I need to write I was my goal was to write like two chapters a week and I totally fell off I just did some eyebrow gel honestly I got it from like TJ Maxx it's just okay but then I do NYX jumbo eye pencil and yogurt and I put this like on my lash line in the summer I don't really wear like liquid eyeliner or mascara I kind of just like leave it like that um, yeah, that's kind of like what, this is kind of like what I do in the summer, and then I'll just put on like a Summer Fridays lip gloss. Put on a little perfume. I've been really liking the Glossier U lately, especially for like summer. Mm, it smells so good. Okay, what should I do with my hair? I did wash it last night, and it's kind of... Ugh, it, my hair has like not been cooperating with me. Like, do you guys ever get those days where it's just not doing what you want? Is there anything else I need to update you guys on? I guess I can show you the book I just finished. Finished reading this book recently, How to Fall Out of Love Madly by Jana Cassell. I'm kind of trying to like go through my physical TBR and just like read what's there and not buy any new books. I also haven't been really reading anything for my Kindle lately. But anyways, read this one. I really liked it. It was kind of more like a chiclet feminism fiction book. 
about three women and like their relationships with each other, their relationships with other people, other men. Loved this. Well, I don't know if I would love it. I think I gave it like a four, 3.75, four stars. I would definitely recommend it if you're looking for like a anti-romance book. If you're looking for something more about like girlhood, the female dilemma in society and how we portray ourselves in our relationships with other people, I would recommend that. Anyways, I think that's all. I wish I could just keep talking to you guys forever, but just a little update. This might be a short like July video, but I want to just say hi. Hope you guys are doing well. Miss you. Um, I'm going to try to like film more clips. I have not been even filming any part of the house hunting process, so maybe I'll try to like film little things here and there, but my fiance doesn't really like to be filmed, so I want to be respectful i want to be respectful of his privacy um yeah so yeah that's it <laughs> see you later see you next time bye miss you have a good summer go to the beach <laughs>